Hello, everybody. Welcome along. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and join us as we react to Derby County having now uh, been confirmed as having a further nine point deduction um, in terms of profit, sustainability, FFP, whatever you want to call it, um, on top of their 12 point deduction for administration that puts Derby now uh, who are already uh, given their um, deduction for administration at the bottom of the league they would be on six points with that that now take another nine off puts them on minus three 18 points from safety in the championship with 29 games to go. Um, I think most people would call that a death sentence there. Um, but I think finally, this long running back and forth between the EFL and Derby is over. And they're telling us um, full and final. Now we're going to try and go through uh, what's happened and um, explain in layman's terms. I am a layman. Um, please, just a couple of things. Um, firstly, I'm having trouble with connection today. So I'm going to stay on the small screen um, and we'll have the EFL website open over there. Um, we're trying our best with the technology. It's struggling today. So please bear with me and exercise some empathy in your comments. Um, if I do look a little pixelated in the small picture there, it's not the end of the world. And frankly, if you don't like it, stop watching. Um, stop watching now or look away and listen to what I'm saying. The other thing I want to say is... Um, I've done various videos about FFP deductions and uh, Derby, Sheffield Wednesday, Birmingham. Um, we do really get some really juvenile comments on this. People kind of going, no, 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 no. If you're going to comment like that, it's not going to be well received. We're going to try and talk through what's actually happened. Remember, there are supporters of these football teams that um, are victims of the club being run incredibly badly that will still be there in League One or wherever. So let's try and keep the comments um, above a sort of intelligence age of, what should we say, about about 12 um, and try and comment on what's actually happened rather than the no, 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 no type side, which, you know, come on, we can do a bit better than that. So uh, this is the EFL's uh, website here. Uh, EFLers today confirmed that Derby has received a nine-point sporting sanction with uh, a further three points suspended after admitting to breaches of the league's profitability and sustainability. First thing to say there is Mel Morris was never going to admit this. This is the administrators obviously um, complying now and saying, look, OK, fine, and we'll get into the whys and wherefores. We're going to move on. The agreed decision there, check this out on the EFL website. Um, if you want to know about it, I'm going to bring it up on the screen in a bit. They've got all of it written down. Some of it is in legalese, but I think I understand uh, most of it. Um, a few other bits and bobs that aren't too rele um, relevant. Uh, the club via its administrators also agreed um, to the dismissal. of. They did appeal against administration. I think that was a bit of a hail mayor. I think every club in administration does that just to um, try and make things more viable for a new buyer, etc. Uh, the new nine-point penalty has been applied immediately, resulting in the club having been deducted a total of 21 points. Remember when this was all first breaking? That was the number, wasn't it? 21 points and uh, three suspended, uh, obviously. Uh, and there it mentions the three suspended points that will take effect if the club does not comply with the terms of its budget as set out in the agreed decision for the remainder of the season. We can have a look at that. So basically, there's an agreement being made with the administrators in the EFL of how Derby are going to act going forward. If they don't do that, they'll get another three-point deduction, which you would assume if it's to do with the rest of this season would be added on to next season, which will likely be in League One. Both both decisions are now final. There we go. It's over, for God's sake, um, and are not subject to any further rights of appeal. Remember, this has gone back and forth and back and forth as far as um, we're talking the 15-16 um, and then 16-17 seasons um, in terms of accounts being submitted, being okayed. Um, then the EFL going back on that, Derby appealing against that, and it's done. <laughs> it's done now. And what we can do is we can bring up the uh, PDF again. This is on the EFL's website. I 
am a musician by trade and I talk about football on the internet. So um, I do not profess to understand every word of this, but I will attempt to sort of walk us through it. And you can see um, that's when the charges came in there. Item three, January 2020. There was the Pride Park charge um, in terms of the stadium sale. Was the amount too high? Park that. Forget that. Not guilty. Not a problem with with that. Whatever your opinion on that is. Um, it's not that I don't care, but I don't care. We're not talking about that now. Um, we are talking about the second charge, though. There you can see 3.2. That the club's amortization approach did not comply with financial reporting standard. Um, so basically, the way the clubs were valuing, or the way Derby, rather, were valuing their players on the balance sheet um, was very clever, but apparently against the rules. And I will reiterate that initially, the EFL, I'm sure we're going to read about it, said this was OK, but they have since um, gone back on that. Um, we'll try and read down a bit. Uh, you can see, yeah, number four, the first charge was dismissed. Fine. So forget the stadium sale. Uh, the basis, the second charge uh, did not comply, uh, blah, 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 and we will move on. Specifically, there we go. The second charge was that the financial statements submitted in relation to the financial years um, ending 30th of June 2016, i.e. relating to the 15-16 season, 16-17 and 17-18 did not comply. I mean, you can see that they assumed non-zero residual values uh, when amortization, registration rights and transfer fee levies where residual values cannot reliably be determined. So they were coming up with their own numbers for uh, playoff, uh, playoff, for player values, etc. cetera. Um, what we should point out here, um, and people get very confused with this. So if we're talking about the financial year ending June the 30th, 2016, those accounts will then not be submitted for a year after that, you then get a year to submit your accounts. And then if there's any problems in proprieties, a charge will then come after that and obviously take eight or nine months. This is where we get very upset people on behalf of anybody Derby might have finished anywhere near in the league uh, because, OK, an offence takes place during the 15-16 season. The accounts are then compiled over the next year. So that season's done. The next season is then done also. And then we're essentially, um, the uh, the season in question, the following season, we're then into the next season when a problem um, is then solved and if someone's guilty of something. So I personally, for that reason, don't buy into lawsuits from clubs, et cetera, et cetera. It's too much. We can't go back and rewrite three years of history, especially when the accounts were initially submitted. So I understand the um, emotional prang and response, um, especially people go on about Wickham, don't they? And we talk about last season where if Derby had been found guilty and punished last season, of course, Wickham would have survived, wouldn't they? Um, and then we can go back, back, back. I personally feel that um, an offence takes place, um, it's investigated, and you're punished when you're punished. Um, you don't necessarily go back to the offence. The analogy I always give is if, for example, you go for a speed camera and it takes the police three months to uh, punish you, and that um, speeding fine would have put you over 12 points, then you would have been banned from driving. So then do we go back to when you got... Um, when you got flashed by the speed camera and then um, give you a punishment every time you got in your car because you would have been banned, but you didn't know you were banned because you weren't punished yet. And then do we add on jail time uh, for this speeding thing for every day you drove your car because it's another offence every time? I don't know. We can't go back and rewrite history, can we? However sad it is that whoever didn't get in the playoffs, Preston in uh, whatever year, 16, 17, or um, I don't know who just missed that, 17, 18, Middlesbrough. Um, then in 18, 19, Derby also got in the plus. Where do you stop, um, for goodness sakes? Let's have a little, um, yeah, there's more stuff about the amortisation. Uh, the first particular of the second charge, blah, blah, blah. Um, right, here we go. Number nine there. The EFL appealed the decision of the disciplinary commission to the league's arbitration panel 
in a decision dated 7th of May 2021. Um, so there you go. When people talk about timelines and stuff, that's the EFL appealing at the end of the 2021 season. Um, and so this is all ticking along whilst that season is still happening for people who get very emotional about that. Um, let's see if we can scroll down in relation to whether the club's approach to the amortization was systematic or reliable. Um, blah, blah, blah. It was not. Um, and there you go. They found that it's um, that it's not cool. Right. Here we go. Number 12. Um, uh, the Disciplinary Commission 12.1 here made a declaration that the annual accounts of the club submitted to the executive um, for the years 2016, 2017 and 2018 did not comply. So once we get into this position where three years after um, Derby have, quote, done something wrong, that it's been defined that they've done something wrong, we can now go back and say that basically each of those years, um, and we've got the numbers, actually. Let's scroll down and find the numbers because I have um, read them. Uh, where are they, for goodness sakes? Right, there we go. Look at number 22. So once we go back, and Derby's amortization process is not okay, um, you can see that they would have failed FFP in 1617 um, by 7 million for the three-year rolling um, roll-in, um, limit there. Remember, though, when we're talking about 1617, Derby finished ninth, but the punishment would have come in the 1718 season where Derby finished Sixth. That's where Steve Gibson and uh, Middlesbrough have an issue. Um, although I think there are issues with the EFL, um, frankly, if they'd have got their ducks in a row there and had the amortization thing sorted, um, could they have done it in that season? Who the hell knows? Again, we're going back and rewriting history. Uh, you can see there miles over, 11 million over in 2018 19, where again, um, or was it 17-18? Sorry, excuse me. It wasn't 17-18 where uh, Middlesbrough missed out. They got in the playoffs that season, uh, didn't they? I'm trying to remember my years. Yeah, uh, Villa beat Fulham in the final. Um, Fulham beat Derby in the semis and Middlesbrough lost. I think it might have been Preston, was it, who finished uh, seventh that year anyway. Blah, blah, blah. We're rewriting history, aren't we? 18-19, yeah. So... That's the season where Derby get in and beat Leeds in the playoff um, semi-final. Do we then need to go back and can Leeds sue the EFL for not getting promoted a year um, a year before they did, et cetera, et cetera? Who won in the final? Villa beat Derby in the final. So um, all's OK then, but then someone's going to have missed out in seventh place, aren't they? Um, and then uh, there's nothing on the 1920 season there. Um, but uh, the 2021 season, again, they would have been over the 39 million three-year rolling loss limit there um, last season. Um, but again, look, they've now been over it three times. So it's um, in terms of the, the Wickham scenario, if this was actually sorted um, when it possibly should have been sorted, if they were guilty, um, Derby are long gone in terms of their punishment before it gets to that last season. Um, so again, I'll reiterate my point about rewriting um, history and all of that good stuff. And um, Derby look to all intents and purposes like they're completely um, cooked this season. 21 point deduction. Generally, 45 points will survive in the championship. Um, add 21 points onto that, you get to 45 you get to 66 don't you uh 66 points normally gets you 10th place so derby basically will have to function as a 10th place team i think they're functioning somewhere around 18 for 19 if you look at points per game and historical averages so far so look that's about the size of it the um efl has um ruled that this is final and all done. And um, it's not Mel Morris admitting it. It's the administrators now. Mel Morris has passed the club on. In short, uh, Derby's amortization for, um, and we're going back to 1516, wasn't um, in line with profit and sustainability, even though the EFL at the time said it was, which then means 
uh, when we retroactively go back and resubmit the accounts, they would have been in breach of FFP in three seasons, 16-17, uh, 18-19 uh, and 20-21. Um, again, um, look, I'm not a legal expert whether the amortisation is right or wrong. Well, that's now been decreed that the EFL are right and Derby are wrong. So um, take your punishment, blah, blah, blah. And let's not get into rewriting history when there's three separate seasons now. Um, and again, like I said, with the time lag on this, whereby you submit a year after the season finishes, uh, where you would have essentially got the advantage by breaking the rules, um, breaking the profit and sustainability. Um, and then it normally takes six months for them to investigate. So, look. Think of it what you will. Let me know your thoughts on this. Derby pretty much relegated um, as of today, aren't they, with a 21-point deduction across the season. Suspended three points. They've got to adhere to whatever has been um, decreed by the EFL now. Um, let me know your comments. Um, look, freedom of speech is, is fine. If you think that we should go back and rewrite history and probably... Um, any one of 40 clubs should now be allowed to sue Derby and the EFL. And you think that's helpful, then fine. You know, you're entitled to, to that view. I personally don't. I think punishment decreed to Derby. They're going to be relegated because of it. Get on with it now. Now is when the punishment has happened. So let's just work with it and not go and rewrite. And we're going back to 2016, rewrite five years of history. Um, and again, if you want to comment going, no, 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 cheaty cheaters, blah, 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 fine, whatever, if that makes you feel better today. Um, I've not got any um, dog in the fight here. I don't support Derby. Um, all I know is I've got friends that do support Derby and, um, you know, they'll still be turning up and, and watching them. And uh, spare a thought for them um, whilst you um, lord it. Um, everyone loves to look at a car crash. Um it's, it's a bit different when you're in it, though, isn't it? So let's try and exercise some empathy um, in our comments. But again, you can say what you like. I do um, I do admit that. So there we go. Apologies again, some tech problems today. So um, if you want to get snooty about me being small picture in picture here, then again, fine. Do, do what you want, everyone. Got on prickly this morning, aren't I? Uh, but we are reacting in the main to Derby um, being deducted an extra nine points. Um, on top of the 12 for administration, nine points for profit and sustainability. And Derby likely, more than likely, um, unless there's some kind of miracle on the pitch, to be in League One next season. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Get your comments in. Try and exercise um, empathy if you can if that is a skill that you possess. And I will see you all very soon. Over and out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button. And to be notified every time we upload, ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go and watch another video.